Two mad men, two mad men, see how they run, see how they run. They both got in the studio, know what they do, we never know. Two mad men, two mad men. What you didn't see was he started the song out, Three Mad Men. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't know if we're getting a, a, a third host. Uh, keep tuned for that one. Um, we are back. It's August 24th, 2017. We haven't done a show since the spring. Uh, part of that reason is our executive Summer producer, break! Summer break. We were on summer break. <laughs> hiatus. We were on hiatus. Um, our executive producer was trapped in Michigan. Um, and I couldn't get her any videos at all. Um, you think in this day and age I'd be able to figure that part out, but she's my tech person, so that's one excuse. What's another excuse? Aliens invaded! That's right. Ali- wait, no. <laughs> you wanted an excuse. Anything you else? Say it had to be reasonable. Okay, any other reasonable excuse? Not that I can think of. Okay, so we're just going to say sorry. Uh, and hopefully this makes up for it, which I really doubt it will, because content is subpar as usual. Uh, but we're working on it. Uh, Jubal and I went to BronyCon uh, on August 11th. Yay, Bronies! Um, for those of you who don't know what BronyCon is, it is a convention for people who love the cartoon My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Um, Jubal is a big fan. Uh, not only has he watched all the shows, uh, he reads. Well, the... Actually, I haven't watched all the shows, but I've been watched. But I've watched enough to know what's going on in the, in the fandoms. Okay, and you're a big fan. Big fan of Discord. Big fan of Discord, and we'll get to that later. Um... Though Ember is a close second. And uh, you look, you just disappeared again. <laughs> This is kind of a common theme that you do. You just kind of say something and then disappear out of camera. Um, so we went to this convention. Um, people dress up as their favorite ponies. Uh, we went to the uh, opening ceremonies. It, it turned into a concert. Uh, it was kind of cool. Um, and that's why we're going to go five for five right now. Um, our five favorite things we saw at BronyCon. You want me to go first? Why not? Oh. You had such a terrible time getting them in the first place. Why, why did I give you the honor of doing them first? I'll be honest. It was hard to find five things that I liked about Brody Cod. Um, He's such a hater. <laughs> maybe a little. Um, <laughs> the number five for me was the opening ceremonies. It was great. Um, we met a lot of the voices that do the show. Um, they're going to put out a, uh, feature length, uh, motion picture, I believe, what, this winter? September? September, the, and big shout out to, um, fan, Disney fanfic fans, we are getting a new daughter of Discord. Okay, but that has nothing to do with. The, the, the opening ceremonies. Uh, sorry. You just, you just went non sequitur on us. <laughs> okay. So my number four thing was Jubal's reaction to everything we saw. Um, Jubal is a huge fan. Um, there were some very nice people that let him hug them. Uh, there were stormtroopers. There were... Um, now, why would there be a stormtrooper in My Little Pony? Well, Luna owns the dark side, and Celestia is one of the force, so why not? This episode is for a very small number of people that are going to get any of these references. And I thought I... I'm trying to make enough references for everybody. So, I was throwing out stormtrooper, so at least the five people that have seen Star Wars will know what we're talking about. Uh, the second thing, the, I'm sorry, the third uh, favorite thing is my reaction to everything that I saw there. Um, it just proves again that everybody has their favorite thing. Uh, everyone is a fan of something, and it's just wonderful to see people uh, kind of 
just fly their fan flag. Um, uh, number two, Baltimore. Uh, we got to hang out in Baltimore. Uh, we did a lot of walking in and around the um, convention center, uh, Camden Yards. Uh, there's never a bad day in Baltimore uh, when you're doing the whole touristy thing. And my number one um, thing that I saw at BronyCon was just the community. Um, everybody in this community really appreciates everybody else in this community. We were there with 10,000 people on that Friday. There were more people that showed up on the Saturday and then the Sunday. But for the opening ceremonies and uh, the panels that came afterwards, there were 10,000 people there who all enjoy My Little Pony. Um, it was also kind of a neat thing. I picked up our um, credentials on the Thursday before we went, and that was the Redskins and Ravens preseason game. So to see this clash of cultures between <laughs> Redskins fans, Ravens fans, and My Little Pony fans, um, let's just say you can figure out who was who. Um, okay, Jubal's top five. Uh, number five, he got um, a card game. What was the card game? Shippers Fanatic. And it's about what? I got the booster pack. Okay, we got This get... is the world's largest booster pack, I have to swear to you. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a, it's a big as a normal deck case. Okay, like 52 cards? B b almost 60 a plus. Okay. It's three different decks of pony deck cards mm -hmm. made for a pony game they didn't even sell at the convention. That's right. It was just a booster pack. So... Uh, we we got to figure out how it all works. Um, we printed out the originals, but we got to cut them up and figure that part out. And place them on booster poster board and such. Yeah. Okay. Jubal's number four is the cosplay. What do you like about the cosplay? Honestly, what is there not to like about cosplay? <laughs> Can you remember one costume you like more than any others? You have to go there, don't you? Other than Discord. We're getting to Discord. <laughs> okay, now you've made it a little harder. But the Flutterbat costume I really liked. Okay. I wish I took more pictures because then we could have them flashing up on the screen with us. Um, Flutterbat, for those of you who don't remember, is Fluttershy when she goes vampire bat on us. And who doesn't love that? Who doesn't like a vampire pony? Right. Okay. Um, number three was sushi. Uh, we, we ate, or he ate, uh, convention sushi. Had a full-line sushi chef. Um, that was a high point of your convention experience? Yes, it was. It was good sushi? Delicious. And I, we got to talk about your wasabi issues. Um, <laughs> please tell our fans how you eat wasabi. With great prejudice. Prejudice? Prejudice. Yes, that's the word. Okay, so explain what that means in your eating habits. I take a glob of wasabi about the size of my pinky mm -hmm. and place it on a tuna roll. Uh huh. Then I take said tuna roll mm -hmm. and wrap it in ginger. Mm hmm. Then I place said tuna roll in my mouth and chew as long as possible. Until I can't chew no more, and I swallow. But by the time that is done, my nose is ready like Niagara Falls. Okay, let me try to paint a picture here. Uh, his face turns bright red. He becomes, he starts sweating all about the head and face. Um, and he does this thing, I've now seen it twice, <laughs> where he smacks the back of his head until... Like this. <laughs> until... He, he uh, gets feeling back in your tongue. I, he eats this much wasabi, pop, right in his mouth. And I can't imagine living through that. Um, anyway, so <laughs> even eating sushi is a major thing here uh, with us. Okay, number two favorite thing he, did, he uh, experienced was he bought a sword uh, at the marketplace. Uh, we will show you that in a few seconds. He has a couple things he wants to show. Um, okay, now we got to tell the story. Um, so, his number one experience. <sighs> comes with a story. Comes with a story. 
uh, there's a character. Um, he was the, initially a bad guy. Eventually, he turns into a good guy. His name is Discord. Uh, he is voiced by the incomparable John DeLancey. Um, some of you may know him as Q from Star Trek Next Generation. Uh, he is a wonderful guy. His character, his voice character, is awesome. He's the Lord of Chaos. Um, hopefully... That means he can be any gender he dare wishes. Right. So Jubal's favorite thing about BronyCon was he got to hug Discord. Now, do you want to tell the rest of the story? No, you're doing an excellent job so far. Okay, so I'm going to be scarred for life <laughs> because this is how it happened. We have video up until a certain moment, and I'll try to describe that. Jubal was very patient. Uh, they had a panel with Discord. Discord was the only person on the stage. And, he was hugging, and she was hugging everybody else. Well, she was hugging all the people that asked to hug. So Jubal waited in a line with 10 people, and he was very patient. He laughed at all the jokes. It was great. Um, I might even have some pictures that we can show. Jubal got up there, and he was so nervous, and it was kind of cute. Um, and he kind of asked a question about uh, chaos and order, and it was very deep. <laughs> and even Discord said, I don't know what you're talking about. And then Jubal jumped on the stage, <laughs> asked a hug. Discord said, no, thank you. How about a high five? Jubal then hugged her anyway. Uh, by that point, I was at the stage, and he did let go of the hug, and he came with me. And we had a nice conversation with the security guards in the back of the room. <laughs> He's still laughing about it. I'm smiling about it because it, it's okay um, now. But at the time, you know, it was kind of scary. I'm sure it was very scary for the person in the Discord costume. That was the real Discord! And that's possibly the cutest thing of the whole thing, is as we're leaving the panel room, and it was a large room, Jubal says in his normal, loud voice, that, that was the real Discord. And, you know, you can't, you can't hate the guy for this stuff, you know? It just... It was a girl. I was talking about you. Oh! <laughs> anyway, so I saw that over and over again, uh, that him jumping on the stage, it just played on repeat in my head for days. I didn't sleep for two days uh, because of it. Um, I finally slept the following Sunday night. It was, it was rough. <laughs> and I was, a I was a little embarrassed, but it's, it's his fandom, and I think... Because the security did not make a big deal of it, because the the real Discord didn't make a big deal of it, I think they understood. You know, these guys are fans, and sometimes they get nervous and uh, act out a little bit. And in this case, Jubal did. But he, he pulled himself together. We had a really good experience after that. Um, okay, we're running long. Uh, do you still want to do the sword thing? The, yes. Okay, so he A few one... sword positions. Yep, yeah, so... What is that? Shielding strike. Okay, do another one. Empowerment. Yeah, and do another one. Blocking strike. Okay, now do that one in front of the cam. Turn to the camera. There you go. I like that one. Okay, that's good. And you've been working on those stances in your spare time? I have to do it with a sword. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Get back in. Okay, so now we have a quick little thing about Yomi. Uh, Yomi, can you explain what's going on with you? Can you maybe show the camera? I walked into a door. So I'm a little worried about Yomi because I, I, I'm afraid he might be in a relationship that is not healthy. What do you have to say about that? I think it's his girlfriend. You think his girlfriend did that to him? <laughs> his girlfriend's a harpy. Okay, well, I hope uh, Yomi feels better. You would be both, butter. Okay. So that, that's it for Yomi today. Because I, I don't think he can do much more. 
Okay, we'd like to do a shout out uh, to a um, fan fiction writer. His name is Tatsuro. Um, he's written quite a few. N numerous. Numerous. Uh, but here are a couple of the names of the stories he's written. Uh, My Little Killing Machine. Yes, My Lady. And Three More Things. And they're all uh, My Little Pony uh, fan fiction. And if, uh, My Little Killing Machine is a finished documentary of... The, a, a, a video game where you have... Just a lot of portal games. Mm -hmm. Yes, my lady is the, the uh, Scootaloo as the, the, the black butler's uh, the accomplice. Mm -hmm. And three more things is the Cutie Mark Crusaders as. Jackie Chan adventure genre. Yeah, so it, I've actually listened in on that one, and it's very specific. You had to watch My Little Pony and Jackie Chan Adventures, which lasted about a year, maybe two. Um, that's cute. Um, I've listened in on a couple of these. Um, so anyway, we hope we do another show soon. Um, we need to get out and about a little bit more. Um, but hopefully it's not another few months like this last time. Um, so from Family Service Foundation, we say goodbye. Say goodbye, Jubal. Say goodbye, Jubal. I don't think you did that right. Goodbye, Jubal. There you go. Um, it's the funniest joke we have. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time.